the Holy One of Israel in His holy sanctuary as we honor the Sabbath and keep it holy. Avinu Malkinu, our Father, our King. Avinu Shiva Shemaim, our Father in Heaven. We enter your gates with thanksgiving. We come to your courts with praise. And we thank you once again for the scripture that says, Behold what manner of love God has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the Bene Elohim, the children of the Most High God. We love you, O Lord. We forget not all of your benefits to us. We thank you also that you are a faithful, covenant-keeping God, even to a thousand generations. We love you. How many of you love the Lord today? celebrating Shabbat with Louis Storch's Bar Mitzvah. Yeah. 
in Yeshua.
Kings will come. Kings will go. Presidents will come. And presidents will go. Prime ministers will come. And prime ministers will go. But you, O oh Lord, are the king of all kings. And your kingdom endures forever. Your kingdom endures forever. Shakarit offering, we bring you the morning sacrifice. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. And now, Your Majesty, as you have commanded us, we press in for your blessing for your people, Israel. For the United States of America. May they stand together more and more in these last days. So come, let's all extend our right hand of blessing toward Jerusalem, toward Washington, D.C. Darnell and Alan lead us in prayer. To the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to the God of our Lord, Yeshua Mashiach, the Son of God who sits at the right hand of the Father in honor, glory, and majesty. Praise be to thy throne, fair beloved, the Prince of Peace, the Sar Shalom, the Great I Am, who does justice throughout the world. God has taken his place. In the divine council, in the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long would you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and to the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods, sons of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for you shall inherit all the nations. We all know that God is the God of the living and not the God of the dead. So I pray for those who speak against Jerusalem, Israel. Yes. I speak against those who curse Israel and Jerusalem. Well, they don't know not what they do. Yeah. But God sees everything in the midst he walks about. Yeah. And he shall in the end seek judgment. Yeah. It's only until the fulfillment of the Gentiles until their end has come that this will come about. But I pray, Lord, that you put the right hand over Israel this day, Father. Let him seek judgment and righteousness under your name, under your command. Father, that all may see and know that you are in great power. And your power stands from up on high. That they may bow down and worship the one and only true God. Father, everything, everything that I pray, Father, I ask that. You put a hedge of protection around Israel, Father. Let not the enemy prevail. It's not time yet, Father, but I ask that your might go before them. Let them be victorious in any and everything that they do. Once again, that your glory might be shown throughout all this earth, Father, so all will bow down and worship you. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, you said, ask anything in his name and it shall be given. It shall be done. 
Father, I ask in your son's mighty name, let it be done this day. Amen. Father, we want to thank you that you have privileged us to live in this great nation. Truly, the greatest nation there's ever been. And Lord, it is with great sobriety that we recognize and realize that we stand because of your grace, your love, and your favor. And you are hearing the prayers and the cries of your people like you did the ancient Israelites when they were in Egyptian bondage. And Lord, we, your people, feel like we are in bondage when we see our culture turning against us. And we see the name of Yeshua being trodden down. We see all references to God trying to be obliterated. And this is wrong. We pray, Father, for your power. Lord, we pray the angelic forces would be loosed this special right now to bind up all the wicked voices, all the wicked imaginations, and all the wicked activities that are going on to steal away our God-given freedoms that we have in Yeshua that were been paid for by the blood of Yeshua, by the blood of all of our soldiers from the Revolutionary War to where we are today. We thank and we praise you, Lord. There are those who have paid the cost. And Lord, but we thank you that you paid the ultimate cost. And Lord, we're praying that it would come alive in the consciousness of Americans all over from the West Coast to the East Coast, from Alaska, down through Hawaii, and all through, Father, that there would be this realization that we are an exceptional nation, and it's because we have an exceptional king. We have the Lord God, as our colonists said. There is no king but King Jesus. And we so thank you, Lord, that you have given us this privilege to see things turn around. And we're praying more and more as we see the enemy showing his ugly hand that you're waking up people and you're striking them with a conscience and saying, this is not right. It is time for us to establish righteousness, to establish the truth and holiness and the victory that only our Lord Yeshua can give each one of us personally and individually. So we pray for the fulfillment, Lord, in these last days that you're going to bring such a spiritual sweeping revival. Lord, we cry out, only you can do it and we're believing for you to do it. We know you're raising up prophets and Lord, we pray that people would hear the voice of the word of God spreading through throughout all the land, and help us to be in solidarity with Israel, with every Jew, with every son of Abraham, whether they be natural or spiritual. Lord, we're believing that more and more there be the realization we must be discerning, we must be separate, we must be distinct, we must be exceptional on these things. In the name of the Lord Yeshua, we ask. Amen. 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 Amen.